Hello and welcome back to our C++ Primer course where we're going through the introductory basics of C++. In the last episode we got started with looking at the system and looking at how uh, code is organized and what it all means. In this episode we're going to go through uh, variables and talk about different types of variables, how do we declare them, how do we initialize them and how do we actually use them. As well as go through how to input data using our window prompt. So let's get started. So now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do inputs for our user. So what we're going to do first of all is I'm going to clear everything we have here. Let's just delete all this. And we're going to do an int. And one thing you can also do with variables is you can define them all in together. So if they are the same type, all you can do, you can do a value a comma value b. There's a shorthand way of putting that together. You can do that. Um, we're also going to need the sum of the values. So we're going to have int and sum and that could also be added on to the end if I wanted to as well but for it readability I'm going to keep these two separate um, so it's easier for us to understand what's going on here um, okay so then we'll give an instruction to our user now we're using std and then cl now we could also rather than keep typing std in we could just go up to the top here underneath the includes and put in using namespace and put in std. That means it will net the whole project will understand std without me having to type it in. So I can put in c out and I'm not getting error because it knows what c out is. So now I can put in this and I can put in uh, a command or uh, instruction for the player. So enter in any number and new line and put that as a semicolon. So if C out is going to output a number, you can kind of guess what input number it's going to be in. It's going to be C in. And this time, you want to change the direction of your arrows that you're putting in to the other way. So we're basically telling the computer that we're waiting for a value to come in and it be assigned to the C in there. And we're going to assign it to value A. So whatever value the user types in, it's going to be set to value A. We're then going to put out another instruction, uh, C out. Uh, enter a second number and put in a new line and we're then going to do oh, and then we're going to do another C in again assigning it to value B okay exactly the same as we did before we're then going to do the mathematical part in the code so we do sum equals value A plus value oh, b and we're going to output c out and this the sum is and then put in another arrow that we learned about last time put those in put out the value of sum and that's it So now if I run that, you can see it's now asking me to enter any number. So I'm going to enter 5. And then I'm going to type in 123. The sum is 128. Okay. So we've got a very simple input and output structure there, um, taking user inputs for us. So here we're setting up and declaring the variables. We are here assigning the variables on C ins. We are then summing the two variables together and then outputting that value there. Now, sometimes when you're looking at code, you may see a keyword that uh, for declaring a variable, such as auto. Auto is a way to automatically to let the compiler figure out what type of variable it is. So I could put in something like here value C, but I do have to declare what the value is at start so i can't do what i did above where i've just declared the name of it i need to actually assign the value here as well so if i put in 15 it's going to assign assume value c is an integer if i put 15.5 it's going to assume it's a float and if i put in a string saying ryan it's going to assume it's a string okay so you can also use auto in that sense as well um, and you'll have a similar effect 
with our values we can also not just assign them but we can also increment them as well so let's say i've got this value c going on here i could go down to here and put in value c and i can do plus equals five and what that's going to do is going to add five to the existing value of value of value c essentially it's the same as doing this values equals uh, value c sorry equals value c plus five so it's the same as that it's just shorthand okay so you can do plus equals and that works for all, all the operations as well so you can do minus equals times equals divide equal do all of that and it will do exactly the same so it's a shorthand way of adding and incrementing a value by a uh, an amount and there you go we've now got that working and hopefully understanding variables a lot better and if you're comparing this to what you're doing at unreal engine hopefully you're seeing some similarities with the uh, variable types and how we're doing setups here in the next episode we're going to go through the if statement now if you've used branches in unreal engine if statements will look very familiar to you and if you use any other programming languages at all again will look very familiar to you, as there's not much real difference but we'll go through them in the next episode if you want to watch the next episode right now head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before anyone else. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.